start. Uh, it's very hip. It's very hip. Very hip. What's up, dudes and dudettes? Apparently, this is a very hip way to start a video, right? Yep. Check. All the kids are saying it. All the kids are saying it. What's up, guys? So, today we are going over a Lightroom hack. No, we are not. It is not a hack, it is an edit. God, I mix up all these videos all the time. Hold on, I make the noise. She's gonna make noise. What are you hammering? I was scooching in. Let's just let's just let's just get into the video. Will Simpson here. Welcome back to the channel. It's always good to see your smiling faces coming back for some more editing tricks and tips and things about editing stuff. Yeah. So today we went out to test the Canon R6 Mark II, which I just picked up. I have um, been using the R5 for some time now, and I just got the R6, so I wanted to give it a full test out. But before I do that video, uh, I wanted to show you a really cool Lightroom trick. Now this is using the mask. So if you're familiar with the mask, then you might already know this, but it's the way in which I'm using it that is kind of unique. And I absolutely love this technique because if you ever do a shoot and you have people with like highlights or just weird blown out spots on their foreheads or anything like this, you can use this technique to help handle that. Here is the before. And just really quick, before we get into this photo, you see this guy right here, this lovely man, he proceeded to like walk and just stand in the background of the photo. And then he proceeded to like take pictures of whatever around, but he was actually taking pictures of us. And I was like, okay, come on, get out of the photo. Clearly you're in the photo. Like, this was so annoying. Anyways, I edited him out, but that's just my rant for this video. So here is the before photo and here is the after photo. Now, I'm not going to show the entire edit. If you would like to see the edit, go ahead and comment below and I can do a whole video on how I went about and got this edit. But essentially, I started off with the Hazy Days preset, which is a preset from my Exploring Photography preset pack. Anyways, I've talked a long time, so let's show you the, the, the tip, the trick. So we're gonna click here on the mask. We're going to select a new mask, Linear Gradient. We're going to drag it down just to kind of get a little bit of her face on her highlight, um, on her forehead. Let it go. We're going to push and hold Alt or Option. Option on a Mac, plus intersect, go to select subject, and boom. Now we have a perfect linear gradient just on our subject's forehead, and we can adjust it as we need it to make it darker, lighter, however, but it is a beautiful, beautiful linear gradient. Now this works with any freaking masks. If you don't have the Alt or Option button, which I don't know why you wouldn't, let's use a radial gradient here. Let's just put it here just for the fun of it. I'm gonna go click the three dots, go to intersect mask with, select subject, and boom. Now we have created a uh, radial gradient, which is intersected, and we can adjust this however we want. Now you can work this with any mask. Let's even go farther. Let's create a brush here. Let's go ahead and just put auto, take auto mask off, and we're just going to paint this just like this. And we only want it on her legs. Press option, intersect, select subject, boom. Like, it's so freaking cool. You can intersect any mask with any mask anywhere. It's so easy to do, and it just makes life... <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> and it just makes life so freaking quick and easy. So that is our Lightroom trick of the day. I hope that was helpful. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, but most likely you probably have. Hit the bell so you're notified of all videos that I do. And I'll see you guys next week. Later.